Good afternoon, Southeast Texas, and happy Sunday. Looks like more cloud coverage than forecasted, but overall, pretty dry day out there. Orange didn't get any rain. It looks like this is a live look at our Roofing 911 Skycam network. 88 degrees right now, 68% for that humidity, and southwest winds about uh, five, six miles per hour. On radar right now, we are starting to see those clouds move off towards the east, but we're going to keep partly cloudy skies into tonight's forecast. But most of the showers have moved out of the area. We're still going to go with the 20% coverage over the lakes area um, and this is mostly because of drier air that is seeping through so that's why we aren't going to be seeing any lingering showers within uh, the next couple of hours here so looking at the next seven days uh, we're going to be stuck in this rainy rut and we're going to tell you why so it looks like about a quarter of an inch more within the next seven days so nothing too bad not going to be any severe flooding as of right now um, that is forecasted so this is mostly for the triangle up towards Hardin County as well and then up towards the lakes area Tyler Jasper Newton counties looks like could get up to an inch within the next week or so so Monday morning it looks like an excessive rainfall outlook is marginal so some periodic heavy rainfall out there and that's because of that trough that's really trying to push through the area, but it looks like our best chances for rain is going to be Wednesday into Thursday with about a 50% coverage over the area and then about 60 70 up towards the lakes area. And then as we head into Friday, Saturday, these numbers have changed I'm kind of a little disappointed in that still about a 30% coverage as we head into uh, next Saturday. So I mean, it just looks like I mean, this can change at any moment. And then as we head into the next week, it looks like those rain chances will go down. So this could change. But as of right now, we're going to still go with about a 40, 30 percent coverage just because of mid level moisture and that sea breeze is keeping those showers in the forecast ending off our week. Current conditions right now, 89 degrees in Orange, 86 in Port Arthur, 80 up towards Kerrville, 81 in Jasper, 86 in Woodville. Across the state, we are seeing scattered showers up towards the Panhandle, severe thunderstorm watch and effect there and we are monitoring this trough right here it is really trying to dig deep into our area and it's going to continue to do that as we head into the new week but you do see all of that moisture this is within the last uh, about hour or so so we are starting to see that drier air that is moving through the area so that's why those storms have kind of lingered out of the area and is moving off towards our east is because it's taking that moisture with it but that is going to change as we head into tomorrow right so we do see that trough it's going to dig into the area but we do get the weaker side of it. So it's going to drag through thunderstorms and showers still into Monday and then into Tuesday. It's going to start to move on out of here. And then you're going to start to see over from our east, we're going to see a ridge start to build in. And usually a ridge would dry us out, right? Well, not in this instance because of that mid-level moisture that we have and then the sea breeze activity. So you do see Monday into Tuesday, it is going to be enough moisture that it's gonna produce some scattered showers and thunderstorms into much of this week, unfortunately. But we are gonna still going, um, going to be seeing lower rain chances as we head into next weekend. Out on the tropics, not monitoring anything within the next five days. So that is good news on Futurecast tonight. We're going to go with partly cloudy skies out there. And then it looks like, I mean, Futurecast has been doing pretty well. It looks like we might see a few lingering showers um, overnight tonight up towards uh, northern Newton. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, we're going to really start to see a good coverage up towards the lakes area. And then about a 40% coverage in the triangle as we head towards the later morning and afternoon hours. And then it looks like by the afternoon and evening, most of the showers are gone. Those start to clear on out out on the Gulf of Mexico slightly choppy seas one to three feet tomorrow no advisories and we will be seeing southwest winds five to ten knots with showers and thunderstorms in the forecast tonight warm and humid conditions a little higher above normal middle to uh, upper 70s in the triangle low 70s up towards the lakes area as we head into Monday's forecast about a 50 percent 40 percent coverage in the triangle 70 percent coverage for the lakes area it's going to be hot and humid out there in the 90s for much of the week and then we're going to be seeing that rainy pattern carry through until next Saturday and then we hopefully will get lower rain chances as we head into next week.